Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you Erbil, also called Hala, the capital of the Kurdistan Autonomous Region, located within the borders of Iraq. I spent about a week and a half in Erbil, using it as my base while exploring all over the region, so this video was shot over several days, and I hope it should give a good impression of the city. It's a city of around one and a half million people, and the most populated city in the Kurdistan region. It's fairly spread out, and it's basically a city of rings, spanning out from the citadel right in the middle. We'll not only visit the centre and the top sites, but we'll also go out to some of the other districts, like the rich Dream City area and the Christian district of Ankawa. Come with me on a journey. Well, I see we have found the climb up to the citadel, so what better way to start with in the city than seeing that? This is really the, uh, the kind of peak point in the city, so it's going to be interesting to explore around here. Oh, this is full of local life. Everyone's looking at the view. Lovely. Yeah, this to me is a very good place to start. This is really the iconic Erbil view. This is, if you think of Erbil, if you look at pictures of Erbil, this is what you see. The citadel and the view from the citadel on the square. It's, it's actually quite beautiful. I love the fact there's so many people coming up here and just enjoying this. Got to do the same. So when you walk into the gateway of the Citadel, you come into this little outside theatre area. I don't know whether it's actually used in practice other than just locals sitting down, relaxing, taking pictures and uh, having a good time outside. So behind me on top of the citadel you've got the Kurdish flag flying, you can see this pretty much anywhere in the city. It's actually different than the Iraqi flag. The Iraqi flag has Arabic writing, different colours on it. This one uh, has the star in the middle. That was really nice, just met a bunch of uh, three young lads, just uh, came up and said hello to me. One of them uh, clearly spoke good English, the other guys I don't think so, or maybe a bit shy or something like that. But really, really friendly, so welcoming, such lovely people. They're just uh, studying at the local university here. And it kind of reminded me, reminded me back when, uh, when I first arrived in Damascus in Syria before the war there. People were so welcoming there. And I remember being there with the car window, with the taxi wound down, and people were just coming up in uh, the center of the city, coming up to the taxi, coming up to the window, shaking my hand, saying, you're so welcome in our country. Just the same thing again. I love the hospitality in this part of the world. It's beautiful. So just coming out the other side of the citadel, haven't been here before. Gonna check out the views of the other side of the city. So another great view from this side. You haven't got the main town square, of course, but you've got a completely different perspective from the city. And if you look behind me far enough, you might even be able to see my apartment. I'm starting to get a bit of a feel for uh, Erbil. It's really quite a strange but wonderful place. It feels a bit like an alternate universe. Everything's a little bit, a uh, little bit off, a little bit strange, but in a good way.
gonna grab a taxi and go out to Dream City. It sounds more like kind of Dubai than uh, Erbil, but uh, this is one of the new affluent areas of the city. Uh, going out area, bars, restaurants, that sort of thing. So I'm guessing kind of similar to the Christian Quarter, Ankawa, where I'm staying. But uh, I wanna go and have a look. The expats I was hanging out with uh, last night were saying there's good places around there that I should definitely go and visit. So, hey, why not? taxi ride was a bit of a pain to be perfectly honest he didn't really seem to know where he was going even though this is quite a popular place that everyone should know supposedly got there eventually this is dream city let's take a look around i've been dreaming on in my head like i've seen it a life worth living is a life with meaning i'll do what i love till my heart stops beating i'm feeding this demon yeah, the name does say it all, doesn't it? It's like a little bit of Dubai. Every day till your dreams fade away. Like a card never change. Play the game that we say. I need a break. Don't stay strong. Need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Don't stay strong. Need this place I really want to visit because I just fancy eating some Western food. I fancy having a burger for a change. I keep eating the local stuff in Turkey and here, of course. Yeah, just going for a little bit of a walk around this neighborhood just to see what it's like other than just going to the destination and eating a burger which was an okay burger but nothing special but it made a change i've been eating so much of the local food as i say it's just good to have a change sometimes but really not the most charming of areas you know it's just a kind of posh neighborhood where everyone lives in compounds and uh, there's a lot of big cars and a whole bunch of guys with big guns trying to secure them it's uh yeah I'm kind of done with this uh, this neighborhood. I'm not really going to bother coming back here. I'd rather just hang in a more down to earth place. I've come out to the Jalil Kayat Mosque, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. This is a relatively new mosque, only built in the last 20 years or so, but it looks very, very distinctive, uh, very. Well, kind of taken off the uh, the Ottoman style with the kind of uh, the, the domes that you get a lot in Istanbul, but also sup supposedly inside it's supposed to look fantastic. But uh, yeah, I've got to see if I can get in. When I go to the main gate, that appears closed at the moment. I don't really see people in there, so I'm getting a little bit worried. I can't visit it properly, but at the very least, let's take a look from the outside. Well, I see one semi-open doorway in front of me here, so let's give this a try. It looks like I'm uh, I'm a little bit lucky. My uh, my new friend here is uh, going to uh, let me have a quick Amir, look inside. Amir. Amir. I'm Chris. Amir. 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 Chris. A M E R. A M E R. Amir. Amir. Yeah. This is just beautiful. Yeah. <sighs> look at the colours, the lights. It's just so vibrant. What a beautiful place. Huge colourful chandelier hanging from the ceiling here. So I think I was really very lucky there. A guy called uh, Amir, he uh, basically let me go in and uh, have a look around, turned the lights on for me and everything. It was, that was fantastic. I really didn't think I'd be able to have a look inside. But what a beautiful place. I'm not quite sure why it's actually closed up at the moment, but uh, yeah, he didn't want me to be in there for too long and leave the door open because he said then it'll just fill up. Everyone will want to come in. So, uh, yeah, well, some lovely Kurdish hospitality to, uh, to allow me to look inside like that. So there's not really much else to see around this area. I really just came to see this mosque, so uh, it's a little bit of a way out. I think I'm going to hop in a taxi to get to the next place, or otherwise it's going to be quite a walk. So I'll hop in a taxi and uh, go to uh, Sonata Park.
Well, I made it out of the park, as you can see behind me. It looks like, unfortunately, the cable car is not running at the moment, but uh, we'll go and have a look and go and have a wander around. I really don't know what to make of this so far. All these strange statues everywhere. Kind of fake. I wonder some more. So I'm really still none the wiser on that. That was a very, very strange park. Just walked out the uh, the entrance there, and it absolutely stinks of weed. Someone is smoking a joint around here. I think. So just going to cross the street and walk into the neighbouring park, the uh, Minara Park, I believe. They have this nice little miniature version of the Citadel here. Kind of fun to see on a smaller scale. Quite enjoying the peace of walking around here. There's not many people around. It makes a refreshing change after the Citadel area and the, the main square area there where it's just a throng of people constantly. This is really, really relaxing. Oh, look at this. We got a uh, hedge shaped like a crocodile. And up ahead is the station for the cable car. And there we go, I just asked the man here and uh, it seems that the cable car does run, it just doesn't run till five o'clock. So uh, I think I'm going to be coming back here at a later point. Probably not today, but uh, another day, definitely come back here and ride this. Looks like fun. I guess this park comes more alive in the evenings then. Maybe the, uh, the sun of the afternoon is putting people off, apart from the crazy Britishman here. Second time's a charm, I'm back at the Minerva Park and I can see the cable cars running today, so gonna have a look. So that's the end of the park with the Mudhafaria Minaret. It's been quite a nice walk around here and it's probably going to be a lot busier from here on in. See if I can find my way back to the uh, Arab district. Despite being one of the oldest areas in Erbil, the Arab Court is pretty much abandoned by both residents and the authorities. Though it's an important historical area in the centre of the city, there's no maintenance, no electricity, and the deserted streets have sometimes just been used as car parks. Well, this is certainly what must be the deserted Arab Quarter, so uh, let's just see if I can find my way around here. I'm not sure whether you can get through here. Just found this side street off the main street. Maybe it's a dead end. Bam! There we go. That is a dead end, so I can't get through here. Let's uh, keep looking. I think we have another potential way in ahead, so I've got to go and investigate this. Let's see if we have a little bit more luck this time. It's sad to see this much garbage on the floor. Leading to what looks to be a car park. Not having much luck so far. But this is certainly the uh, abandoned district. Not abandoned by cars, it seems. Big ones at that. Squeeze past this last car, and we probably got another dead end here. And the abandoned car park tour continues. I seem to have found another street through.
Let's finish our tour of Herbal with a visit to the Ankawa district, located far from the centre on the outer ring near the airport. Ankawa is where I've been staying during my time in Erbil, and it's the city's Christian quarter. What I really like about Ankawa is it's part of the city with a vibrant nightlife, packed with restaurants and bars, so perfect to relax after a day of sightseeing and filming. The other striking thing about this area is uh, alcohol shops everywhere and big, big uh, signs outside with alcohol brands. You just don't expect to see that. In the other parts of Erbil, you really don't see that. You don't, uh, you don't see alcohol at all as far as I've uh, seen. I mean, apart from places like Dream City that I popped into yesterday. But uh, it's certainly in the center, you really don't see this. But uh, these signs everywhere, so in your face, that's really unique to Ankawa from what I see. I'll show, I'll show some pictures of it once I pass by some of this. This really sums up what I mean about the alcohol shops and the big alcohol brand signs. It's just everywhere around this district, wherever you go. The huge walls behind me offer a stark reminder where I am. It's actually a TV station behind me. Looked it up online, I was thinking, you know, is it uh, an embassy or something like this? But uh, no, just a TV station, but uh, yeah, very high security it seems. So behind me is the Cathedral of St. Joseph. Uh, the shot you see here is really all you're going to get, I'm afraid. It's very high security around here, it seems. I was uh, stopped uh, from actually going in and having a look by an uh, army guy. There's uh, army security around there. And also, you're not allowed to take photos in the, uh, the compound there at all. So, uh, yeah, I was unable to really see it apart from walk past it. It's a bit of a shame, but, uh, well, that's the rules. So uh, we're going to follow those, of course. So. Yeah, walking around Ankawa isn't really the uh, the best. There's not much in the way of sites, and uh, it seems sites that could be sites you can't actually visit. So I think really, well, what I've seen of Ankawa already is uh, is the Ankawa that's uh, kind of fun, the uh, the nightlife area, the going out, the going out part. But for walking around, not really much to see. So I'm going to persevere for a little bit longer. We'll see if it gets uh, gets any better. If not, off to another neighbourhood, off to explore more. Okay guys, that's it for my little video on Erbil. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have got this far, please do use that like button, show some support. And of course, use the comments below, let me know what you think. Goodbye for now, and I hope to see you next time.